Hello everyone and thank you for joining me again today. Now as usual I'm in my very non-glam tired out look and those of you that have been following me for a while regularly you know my alley pallies that I'm recovering from um, an aneurysm to my brain which has left me feeling very fatigued. But I thought today would be a good opportunity to do a very quick makeover um, and this is just to make myself look a bit more awake using some products, some new, um, but from a, a well-known brand. Um, uh, let's just get dive into this, shall we? Now, first on in, I'm going to use this moisturiser, which is Walida Skin Food. It's used by a lot of celebrities, by the way. Um, if you're not a fan of essential oils, in your skincare then don't go for this because it does have essential oils i believe but it is absolutely gorgeous and it smells gorgeous okay but it's the smell of essential oils right now this one is not the light one it's the original one so it's quite thick and you need to rub it in a little bit but you can see the difference in the skin tone of my face already and my head just by massaging this in um it's giving my skin a bit of a boost now let's put a little bit on my head and i will rub this in and i'll be right back if you've been watching my lives one of the things that I've been loving to do recently is to mix Daniel Sandler watercolour blushes with his new Blossom Colour Primer. And it made me go out and buy, because I was texting Daniel and he said that he was going to try mixing it with this. It made me go and buy this, which is Hot Totty. I'm going to show you what this looks like. Let me give it a shake. You have to shake these up really well before you you use it okay and then i'm just going to show you a little bit of this on my hand here so it's basically a liquid bronzer can you see that and it's got a very subtle glow to it which you probably can't catch on camera but i'm going to put a little bit of a photograph of it here right not sure if the video captured that but just to explain to you it's got this very fine gold shimmer it doesn't look like glitter so don't be afraid it's not like glitter but it's got a very very subtle gold shimmer to it so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to mix the Blossom Primer on the back of my hand, a couple of pumps, because I need a bit of glow with this bronzer and I'll be right back. I'm just going to use the back of my hand as a palette. Now you can go, I actually use two drops. You can go with one drop, you can go with more, you can customize it. That's the beauty of mixing these two products. But because I'm feeling a bit pale and, and a bit wan today, I want to actually mix the two um, and put two drops in just to warm up my complexion. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Let's do half of my face first. Now these drops also would be really good the hot totty drops. You can also mix them with your foundation if you want to warm up your foundation or you could use this as a primer if your foundation is a little bit on the light side. So again, play about with it. See what, what kind of effect that you like. Now you can see I'm already looking a little bit warmer in complexion. Now what I'm going to do at the end, just to so that I don't look warm all over, 
is I'm going to use it on its own, the primer, to highlight my skin. But I'm not even going to go for foundation today. I'm just going to put some of this on my lids. Because this is going to be a very simple, quick and easy, let's look a bit more awake and alive, but not too much makeup. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm going to show you another product, which um, I'm absolutely loving. Now, there was an offer on last week, but I don't believe it's on anymore. That If you bought any watercolour blush, whether it was liquid or cream, you got a free liner. I don't believe that offer's on, but keep a lookout because he always does great offers. But I got the Daniel Sandler um, Waterproof Eyeliner in Purple Velvet. Now, I love these liners and I would say they are on a par with Victoria Beckham, right? Um, they're waterproof, they last a long time, they're very soft and they twist up so you don't have to sharpen them. Now, why I'm looking really excited is I have tried about three of Daniel's um, liners, but when when I started buying them, he didn't have purple in stock. And I love purple and it really makes my eyes pop. So I'm just going to line my eyes under and over with this purple liner. So let's get going with this. I'll do one eye so that you can see the difference. And I'm going to tuck it in. So I get really close to the lash line. And you can see I'm not doing a line. I'm doing tiny strokes. And I may even go into the upper water line with it okay and then underneath and then up and out and then i can afford to get it a bit thicker at this end now can you see how that's immediately opened up my eye It's just made my eye pop a bit more. Got no other eye makeup on, no foundation, but it's just opened up my eye a bit more. I love it. Now this is gonna work for anyone because purple will contrast with any color eye. Right, I'll do the other one quickly and I'll stop chatting. Right, I'm actually going to go into the upper water line as well. I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, now just to take the dark circles from under my eyes, I'm going to go in with my Doll 10 Colour Corrector in Amber because that will just get rid of that darkness under my eyes and make me look immediately more awake. Such a good colour for me, this. And it does, if you buy this on QVC, it comes with a brush, but I actually like to apply it with my fingers because then it gets into all the nooks and crannies. Okay. Okay, now, as you know, nothing brightens up the face like a bright red lip. So I'm going to put on the new Hollywood Vixen lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury. And then to finish off, I'm going to mix the Daniel Sandler Blossom Colour again. But this time I'm going to mix it with... No, I'm not. I'm going to just use it as a highlighter. I've changed my mind. So I'm just going to put it on the tops of my cheeks. The inner corner. Because that's going to make me look more awake. 
a little bit under my brows to lift them up. Bit down the centre of my nose. Bit on my cupid's bow. And I'm going to put a little bit, tiny smidgen on my mobile lid. I don't want to put too much because, because it's a cream and I've got hooded lids. It might start to kind of split because it's a cream. Any cream will do that because my lids are so hooded. But if I put a little bit and really blend it in, it won't do that. And that is my after. And I'm going to leave you with a before and after picture of makeup when you're very, very tired and how to pick yourself up. Hope you've enjoyed this and I'll catch you all again soon. Bye bye. Mwah!